guys, so someone's weed whacking outside. Shut up, neighbors. Nobody wants to hear you whack your weeds. Okay. Anyway, my neighbors are always so noisy. They're either like on their little bike revving the engine or whatnot. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm sorry, guys. They don't know how to be quiet. So throughout like the past couple days, I went to Walmart and got a little bit of makeup and Target and I picked something up and then at like a drugstore, like a um, Walgreens, it wasn't Walgreens, the other one, what's it called, Eckert's, I think it's Eckert's, um, but so I have kind of like a little collective drugstore makeup haul and since I've gotten these like throughout the past couple of days I've had a chance to like use everything. And I am absolutely in love First, with everything I went to Walmart, that I picked Mainly up. because I needed a new mascara because my old one was starting to like irritate my eyes and stuff. So I wanted to try the new Mega Plush Volume Express by Maybelline really bad because I've been seeing commercials for it a lot. And I thought it seemed pretty cool because it says it's like a gel and your eyelashes are like not all crunchy with it and stuff. Plus the tube is my favorite color and that always helps. So this is what it looks like. Mega plush. And first time I used this, I wasn't so sure about it. I was like, um, I don't know if I'm digging this or not. But this is what the brush looks like. I love the brush. And it's got like this thing where it like bends, you know. And the brush I love. I love big full brushes and I just like the way it makes my eyelashes look. But I wasn't so sure about the formula, but after using it for a couple days, I have fallen in love with it. And, yes, this is becoming a favorite, I think. And I wanted to try the Glamouflage, which, cute name, by the way, right, guys? So cute. And this, I wanted to try this because a lot of people said it's just like the Kat Von D one. And I love Kat Von D makeup. I have a couple of her palettes and loose pigments and stuff. And some of her eyeliners. I have a lot of her makeup, some of her perfume too. Love it. So I really wanted to try this because this is only like six dollars. First time I used it I fell in love with it and I'll put a little dot in my hand so you can see what it looks like. I got it in medium since it's summer and I'm like not so pale right now. So come winter this probably won't be the right color for me. But there it is and it um it blends very well. It's very creamy. My hand is paler than my face, though. But, um, I just really like the way this works. Now I have, like, a tan patch on my hand. Um, it blends. I already said that. It's just really creamy and nice, and I really like it. So, this is about $6, and if you guys want to try the Kat Von D one, you might as well just try this, because it's amazing. And it came with, like, a little, um, pencil one too. Yeah! And then I wanted to get a foundation that was kind of more like moisturizing and like protects you from the sun and stuff. So I got the Alme Smart Shade in light to medium and it has SPF 15 in it. So I really like this. And those are the three things I got at Walmart. Amazing. It's like Chainsaw Massacre out there. Next, I went to the drugstore, and um, a while ago, Sephora came out with like magnetic nail polish, and I really, really wanted to try it, but it was like $17 for a bottle, and I'm like, I'm not spending practically $20 on a bottle of nail polish, but now, Sally Hansen came out with it, look how cute my nails look, and this, I got it for like $10. And this is a little magnet part that comes off, and you paint your nails, and then you, you know, you do the whole little magnetic thing. And it makes them look like that. So amazing. I'm in love with it. Um, I paid about $10 for mine, and then I went to Target later that night, and theirs was a little cheaper there. So I would recommend going somewhere like Target or Walmart to get it. It's probably cheaper than if you would go to, like, a And then I store. went to Target later, and I got the color tattoo from Maybelline New York color what is it Maybelline New York yeah and I got it in painted purple 
And this is so pretty. I really love this. Just look at this. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Here, I'll do a little swatch for you. Look how pretty. So thank you for watching my video, and I apologize again for the weed whacker in the background. But, you know, what can I say? I have noisy neighbors. But you gotta love them. That's the way life works. So, um, if you guys would like a better, like, a more in-depth review about any of the products that I showed, just let me know, and I would love to do that. Alright, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye!